Okay, another factor that we have uh, is effect of time. Okay, effect of time on the purchase of equipment. Let's say I buy a, I buy heat exchanger in 2010. The price was 1,000. Now in 2020, if I want to buy the same heat exchanger, what is the the price? For this, we use such an equation, okay, and we need to use the some index, price index or value of the cost index that we showed with I here, and there are some tables that they give us this kind of index, okay. There are some companies the the they give us this kind of index. What is C1 here? C1 is the price of the equipment at 2010. C2 is the price of equipment at 2020 that we want to find. I is the index that in 2010, I1. I2 is the index in 2020, the price index that we will find it from some tables, some resource that they can provide us with this type of uh, indexes. All right. So we have, uh, so we have cost. Okay. C is the cost. I is the index and 1 and 2 they represent the time, the year that uh, we have to go find the index for that year. So we will see some examples together how to use this index. From where we can find this index, we have uh, there are different uh, source for the index. There are some companies and some, let's say, engineers that they, they, they can provide us uh, this type of index. Some of the famous ones are Nelson Ferrer Refinery Construction Index. Okay, for refinery we use, you know, like they they listed all those index, the I, in different years. So you, you just need to go see in which year you want, and then you go find your index. So like we have Nelson Ferrer Refinery, Ferrer Refinery uh, in Construction Index. Okay. That the reference value at 1946 was 100. We have Marshall Swift uh, process industry. We have uh, engineering um, the news record construction index, and also we have chemical engineering plan cost index. This is the I mean this the last one. This is the most useful and reliable index that we need. That, that most of the plant, uh, most of the companies in plant construction, they will, uh, they, they, they will use. Then, uh, okay, so you will see some of them here in the next uh, table here. So, uh, so Marshall Swift. So the same thing that you saw in the figure, we can have it in tables like that. Let's say from 1986 to 2001. So for example, those are the Marshall Swift Equipment Index Cost, I for Marshall. This is for Chemical Engineering Cost Index. Chemical Engineering Plan Cost Index, we, just, we also show it with CEPCI. You will see a lot of abbreviation like this, but as I said, don't worry, don't panic. There are just different uh, different abbreviation that uh, you need to kind of know and use this uh, in this course. Then uh, we have uh, okay, we have uh, Marshall Swift Chemical Engineering Plant Index okay, CEPCR. Then uh, okay, so this is for CPCE. PCI index. This is Marshall Swift. Those are both of them are kind of used, but the chemical engineering plant cost index is more useful. So this is generally for a for a plant, okay, for a major equipment uh, uh, of a plant, okay. But there are some tables that gives us such an index, okay. If I mean there are some tables that is also Publish. Uh, I mean, that is also related for chemical engineering plant cost index CEPCI that give us the value, the index for a specific equipment. Okay, for a specific uh, equipment. Let's say uh, 
for heat exchanger for machinery for pipes valves fittings for pumps compressors okay so they give us a specific for, for that that equipment that they they even list them uh, sometimes months by months you know like sometimes by you know like every month those index those uh, those index are, 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 are reported okay, by some companies. Okay, let's say in May 2015, in April 2015, May 2015, we have all of them. Especially now, you know, like that we have this crisis because of the virus, that many economies are down, you know, like we had a big drop in the stock. So there are a lot of economical issues these days because of this, uh, this issue that is created by, by the virus. But uh, uh, that you know, like the like for sure, like the companies who are providing such an index, they will uh, they will report soon. You know how how this index they have changed, okay, because of the change in the in the stock market and in general the economy, the, the global economy. Okay, let's see how we use this type of index. The purchase cost, one example, the purchase cost of heat exchanger of this area in 2000, in 1990 was 25,000. So we have the area of the heat exchanger, the year, the year, this is my first index, and the cost. C1. Alright. So estimate the cost of the same heat exchanger in 2001. We want C2 in 2001. Okay. And compare the result. How we will do it? So let's do it. Let's use both Marshall and Swift and CPI, uh, chemical engineering plant cost index. Okay. CPCR. So let's go to table for which years 1990 and 2001, right? 1990 and 2001 here. Let's go to table 5.4 in slide 14. 19, let me see, I forgot. Okay, 1990 and 2001. 1990 is here. Okay, 1990. And 2001 here. We will use both Taylor Swift and Chemical Engineering Index. Okay, so in 1919 for this one is, for Taylor Swift is nine, uh, 915. And 2001 is 1094. For chemical engineering index is 1990 358 and 2001 397. So, so this is how when how I listed my my index for Marshall Swift and chemical engineering. So let's do it for Marshall Swift. Uh, we will use this equation, right? This equation. C2 is equal to C1. I2 over I1. So initial cost C1 I2 in 2001 for Marshall Swift and for chemical engineering. The same thing for chem uh, for in 2000 in 2001 and 1990. The same thing for chemical engineering. You will get these two values for your cost. So how much is the error between them? Uh, I mean, we will use uh, the average difference. What we, how we do it? We take an average of these two value here. This two value divided by two. Sum of these two value divided by two. This is how we find the difference. So we take an average of the two values from the two methods. Then we, what we do? We reduce the Marshall sheet from the chemical engineering divided by the average times 100. The error is about 55, uh, 7.5 7 
person, which is not a bad error. Below 10 percent is always uh, a good, uh, good acceptable error. So this is how we use this equation. Now uh, we will have also one example that we will consider both the effect of capacity and the yield. Let's say now if I ask you what's the price of a heat exchanger that has an area of 1000 cubic meter in 2001. Okay, so how you will calculate it? You have the cost for this heat exchanger in 2001 from you have the cost already calculated. Then you have to go one additional step and consider the effect of capacity A2 over A1 that we will use the equation that we have the cost index the, 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 the uh, 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 exponent 0 0.6 that we will use. Okay, so you will see that in the next uh, few slides. I think the next few slides. Uh, okay, like this table, uh, it shows uh, some kind, some ideas about uh, the cost of the chemical plant. Okay, I mean, like how this uh, plant uh, index they are calculated. Let's say for the heat exchanger that we have, let's say in for any equipment that, let's say in 2001, I have uh, the index 105. And in 2020, I have 215. How these values are calculated? When they are cal they, how this index are calculated? When they are calculating the index, they consider the, for the the contribution of each work that has to be done on the equipment. Okay, each work. The each of the work that we will put to build that equipment, that are several works to be done is has some contribution in the total price that usually they categorize it in this way this is one sample let's say the fabrication of equipment it costs 37 percent of the total cost of the equipment the machinery is 14 percent piping 20 percent the instrumentation control whatever we need to put seven percent uh, if uh, we need to put some compressor pumps whatever it is seven percent the electrical works need to be done, materials 5%. Okay. Isolation, painting, that is sometimes very important. This, kind, this job is 10%. Then labor, installation labor 22%. Labor, building materials, you know, some other stuff that you need to spend 7%. Supervision in engineering work 10%. Totally, this, this will be the Totally 100% of the price of that equipment. When we are when they are calculating such a such an index, they will do it usually in this way. That they will find the contribution of each of the price, and then they will uh, do some additional uh, calculation to find these indexes. Okay, so now we are going to talk. Uh, Okay, we have this example, as I said, how to consider the effect of the capacity and time together. The capital cost of 3000 metric ton per year iso, uh, isopropanol plant in 1986 was, to, was estimated this much. Estimate the capital cost of the plant that has the production rate this in this year. So what we have in 2000, in 1986, we had a plant with this capacity. The price was $7 billion. So this is my year, my capacity, and my price. Now, you are asked, in 2001, in 2001, which is the new year, uh, I mean the new, the, the year that you want to calculate the price. I don't know what's wrong with this. Okay, in 2000, 
1 this is my index 2 for the new capacity is 15 50,000 a2 I want to find the price all right so I will use for the price I have to find the index okay let's let's use the engineering uh, chemical engineering index let's see in 1986 and 2001 what are the engineering index okay let me clean up this a bit so in 1986 is here the index is 318 in 2001 is 397 318 and 397 318 397 this is my index so what I have to do here I want C2 which will be C1 I2 over I1 this is the effect of the year and I have to also consider the effect of capacity A2 over A1 divided by use the sixteenth rule okay and fine so we have the first price which is seven seven billion dollar the new capacity okay which is 50,000 divided by previous capacity power 0 0.7 the index in this year in, in 2001 is 397 and the previous index is 318 so if you do the calculation you will find 11 almost 12 billion dollars so this is how we solve this equation let's say this example